Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Actualize Features. Yes. Today we are going to look at Nairobi, Kenya. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. There's some interesting things I just wanted to introduce um, okay. that I saw. Yes. Right? So it's really just like a road trip. Okay. So it's just going to be a road trip across the ocean. Across the ocean? Yes. <laughs> and so if you just want to see out there, relax, sit yeah. back. So I'm going to show you this is Kenya, this is Nairobi, and there's going to be a small bonus where we go to the upcountry. So we're not just okay. going to go to the roads in the city. We're going to go yes. to the upcountry, okay. but also we're going to see some of the new roads. Okay. All right. Good. So from the airport to the city, yes. to the country, yeah. this is trip in Kenya. All right. <laughs> so let's do this. So first, the airport, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. So this is our national airport. We are now leaving the airport. Had you just landed? Just right. landed. Okay. Um, all right, so we're just leaving the country. And there was a big... Um, one, one time I was leaving and those animals. I know that, that cafe only, unless I'm mistaken, So that's how it looks like when you're leaving the airport. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's just it the really weather. On it. Yeah, I know yeah. the weather is kind of gloomy because of the rain, but it's beautiful. It worked on it. Those are different African flags for yes. those who want them. It was the African Heads of State Summit. Karibu Kenya means welcome to Kenya. Oh, look at that. I like the, the rhino. Yeah, yeah. That was right. nice. So, Karibu Kenya, welcome to Kenya. That's the president current. There's a lot of challenges going in Kenya, but nonetheless, all things are well. That's a southern bypass. That's a toll road. Yeah. Right. So, very beautiful. I'll show you how it feels like when you're on there. Okay. That's it, on top of us. Okay. So it's kind of just like living in Texas. Yeah. The way we have like toll roads. Bridges, yeah. yeah. So this is nighttime. I also wanted to get a nighttime. I know I just switched up on you, yeah. but that was during the day, and I also wanted to get driving nice. during the night. Okay. But now we're about to go into the by the southern bypass. Okay. Um, so I was trying to. Oh, this is the eastern. Sorry. Okay. The other one was the southern. This is the eastern. So okay. there are different bypasses in the city. Yes. You're gonna get from one place to another faster. So this is how they look like. It's beautiful though. Yeah. So a lot of things in Kenya are now paid digitally. Oh, okay. Right, so, well, it has Little been like time. that for a very long yeah. time, actually. Let me just say that. Yeah. Uh, going back, actually, it's been decades now. But, you know, for the toll passes, that's what I meant. You know, yes. you yeah. use your phone many times. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea what we are talking about. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about Qatar Airport being like so many Kenyans <laughs> yes. at work at, yeah. at, at that airport in, in Doha. Mm -hmm. The Hamad, we did a video on that. Please check it out yeah. um, in one of our features. Yes. All right. And I need to be a better cameraman. <laughs> I'm zooming in and out. Um, you also deep in conversation. <laughs> oh, man. So, but I, you know, sticking my head out there, I still want you to see. Yeah. So we are on top of the city. It's dark. Yes. But I just wanted to show you how good the the new the bypass road, road is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it kind of like very comfortable. You get from one place to another really fast. Yeah. You know, it's a um, it's very positive for development. That's what I would True. say. All right. If you if you wanna do development, if you wanna grow, you gotta have this. But you know, right now it feels like in the middle of Texas, right? It's, it's like true. it's like I'm not showing you anything. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
But right now we're on top of Nairobi city. We're cutting across the city from the top. Yeah. Uh, just was trying to take some some unprofessional photos. <laughs> <laughs> they work. <laughs> And at this point, I think we are out of it. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, we'll I'm not sure if we're exit. still on there. Okay. Or um, we'll know in a second. But the roads are so good okay. um, in general. Now, for the long haul, like you know, the toll road, the bypass roads are yeah. very high quality. The local roads, uh, not so I, good. They're they're good, but the yeah. foundation is not like okay. it's not steel yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, and so these. It, they can break down faster. That's the problem. Longevity mm. of the local roads, right? Vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the the toll roads. So we are still on the toll roads because the speed we are going at, mm -hmm. and the fact that we are not going through any lights, I, I do believe we're still on the bypasses. Yeah. So. Yeah, but this is positive, you know, comparative it's, it's, to a lot of. Uh, Sub-Saharan countries mm -hmm. and countries around the world. Yeah, you know, I think Nairobi city is in a very uh, positive place in a positive space. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that building was very interesting. Yeah. It reminded me of that green one in uh, Dallas. Oh, uh, the Omni Hotel. I think the Omni like, Hotel. Yeah, yeah. they're the ones who do those lights. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Omni Hotel. Mm -hmm. They do those lights. <laughs> so that's the city, guys, at night. And it was during the rains, mm -hmm. so very rainy, very windy. Yeah. Uh, some interest. Some. We definitely had some great adventures in Kenya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some great adventures. Yeah. You know? I tried to capture as much as I could. Good. Good uh, job. For this, I thought, yeah, it's it's interesting. Why not? Yeah. You know, just to kind of show the the city line from the from the bypasses how the the how it looks like now you yeah. know if you're trying to zoom in from the airport all the way to uh wherever you live you know it's it's very efficient very convenient now right and that is nairobi city some of the famous yeah. landmark buildings yeah. But let me tell you, it's in five-year increments. Yeah. You, 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 in within five years, roads are built. I mean, it, it's so many things are moving so fast. So, um, so many differences. And like what I'm saying now is like when you're on the on the on this toll road, you don't really notice a lot of the city because a lot of the city is underneath you. Yeah. So from the top view, this is the top view, right? But like when you're under there, it's kind of different. You mm. see more of the sea level yeah. and stuff like that. Mm. But I thought, you know, a lot of people who may be watching this have already know the streets maybe, but they've not been yeah. on the new road. So I guess this video is a drive through, through, the, city. through the city, Nairobi yeah. city day and night comparative yes i always loved driving through the city when I, it was nighttime <laughs> especially when i was like small kid yeah i used to love going through like downtown nairobi <laughs> yeah when there's nobody there it's yeah. just kind of like 
you know, I just this, uh, part of me really loves cities, you know, and and just so very especially nostalgic. nighttime, right? Yeah. And I've walked many cities at night. Actually, that's what I used to like to do. You know, whether you're talking about uh, uh, Chicago, yeah. Vegas, Dallas. I just like nighttime. I like the lights. I like the buildings lit up. <laughs> so, you know, it's enjoyable. Let yeah. me just put it out. That's a Qatar building, the airline. Microsoft. There's a lot of different companies that have buildings or, or are housed in buildings yeah. in this area. See how it looks like? Yeah. Now we're in around Westlands now. Um, around nice. where our exit is. Do you see how fast we got to Westlands? Yeah. I mean, look at the, I mean, that's record time, mm -hmm. right? I think I kept recording all the way. Yeah. I mean, look at that. It's yeah. uh, barely 10 minutes from <laughs> the airport. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is thing you may, you used to take people sometimes one hour, right? Okay, this is us eating <laughs> chips. I don't know why we have this, but hey, why not? This is kind of like <laughs> the Kenyan tradition. If you come to Kenya, got to go. Eat. Is this my fry? Uh, yeah. Chibos, yes. This ah, yeah. Chicken and chips. That's of course. my cousin Nomo, <laughs> brother to Samuel. Oh, this is I gotta pause it right here. Okay, I, I think I think uh, we need to pause. I think no, we, we don't. We need to pause. <laughs> we need to pause because uh, this is drive through Nairobi. But when you're in Nairobi, so I'm gonna go back a little bit because I wanna talk about this right now. I wanna talk about this. Now, if you've not seen the safari video, go see the safari video of touring my brother Clarence, yeah. cousin Sam, my brother Collins. Yeah. This one will feature my cousin Domo. <laughs> well, they're both gone. Yes. But this is what we eat. This is like our fast food. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's good so to good. also appreciate the of culture, course. right? So this is our fast food, right? Maybe I'll throw in some of the Yunyama Choma okay. pictures here, but <laughs> we really are big on chips, yes. fries. Okay, it, chips, because Kenya was colonized by the British. Yeah. So we say chips. Mm -hmm. But in America, the equivalent would be fries, okay? Yeah. So, chips and fries. So, you know how, like, the British have chips and fish? We don't really do chips and fish. We do chips and chicken. Chips and chicken. Mm -hmm. So, mostly chips or, and chicken. And then, other, other things that are featured there are uh, kebabs <laughs> and bajias. I don't know why he's mentioning all this right now. We're hungry. I think we just got hungry. We just ate dinner. We just got hungry again. Yeah. So, bajia is potato uh, uh, dipped in a type of. Uh, let me know. It doesn't help you anymore. All right, because yes. you fly to <laughs> Kenya and ask for kebabs and chips. Yeah. So and also this, sausages and some more sauce as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you see that, uh -huh. right? And that Kenyan sausages are different. Yes. So. Yes, our enjoyment, <laughs> our enjoyment, our enjoyment. <laughs> All right, so I also have to pause here. I have to pause here because this is one of the things that I love. <laughs> I, I love cafes. I need to actually do a video on just cafes. My experiences in different cafes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this is how you get coffee from a cafe. They normally serve you in a glass cup like that. So this is... A white chocolate mocha, uh -huh. <laughs> but there was also a passion fruit mocha. Oh, that's I good. drank a passion fruit mocha. There were yeah. white chocolate mocha. They have regular mocha now. Many places don't have white chocolate mocha, which yeah. is my favorite. Mm -hmm. But you can get white chocolate mocha at Java. Nice. But unfortunately, they don't have it all the time. Okay. Um, but all the places have mocha, like just regular chocolate mocha. Yeah. Anyway. And that right there uh, is just another delight. I think that's an Oreo cake. <laughs> these, are just so, these, these are the things that make me happy. So I did this so much. Let me not lie. I, I try to do this nearly every day. <laughs> Milking the trip as oh, much as possible. <laughs> no, this is the thing that makes me want to go back. Right. <laughs> the quality copy. Oh, that's, that's the best. And then you can see how the shape of the tollway is. Oh, that that you can tell who designed it. That's an that's an Asian yeah. uh, style. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I didn't know I had this picture here. So this is what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, let's just pause here. Also, let's take our time. 
Now, what you are seeing here, gen ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is my cousin now, Samuel Nanga, and my brother Ndongo again. These are the two gentlemen I went on the safari with. So, please check out that video. <laughs> but this is also a delicacy that I have to explain. So, what happened is you were like, let's go and just have some nyama choma. Now, nyama choma is just what you can call a barbecue or a roast. Mm -hmm. And right on fire. So, one for Kenyans, they prefer goat over beef. Although they'll do beef, but they prefer goat as the delicacy. Yeah, to and these barbecue. days I've noticed also pork as well. It's and some, a, yeah, pork yeah. is more affordable also, I think. Mm -hmm. But that has also come up. So, um, we ordered two or two, three kgs. We didn't realize how big that was. So this will happen. You see that whole thing, right? What do you call them? You're the Trays? chef. The, not the oh, cutting board. Cutting board. Uh -huh. So they bring you a cutting board, right? So we got a whole cutting board like that the middle part is the kachumbari okay kachumbari is salsa yeah basically it's salsa with avocado mm -hmm. and then there's ugali mm -hmm. which is white corn flour that has been mashed into like a cake and you eat that together so it was just the three of us we ate that whole <laughs> board worth of meat guess what happened when we finished <laughs> they brought more we didn't realize how much we you ordered. ordered. We had a full board, a second full board <laughs> oh, of meat. Oh man! Oh my gosh! It was because you guys thought you were not going to be full. And this was after you the. But eyes. the good thing is, yeah. this was after the game park. Okay. We were hungry. Yeah. We had spent the day, and yeah. we went to this place. Now this place, you know, AKA go to Kenyatta Market. Mm -hmm. That's where they do a lot of this. Yes. But this is one joint in the middle of nowhere. We're just yeah. in the middle of like. It is like that door over there, you go through yeah. it, you end up in like at the southern side of the building. It was oh, literally right. the corner. It was like mm. Mark Wayne's. This was not even, this was like just like a shop in the middle of nowhere. We're like in a hall. Yeah. Of in the middle of a nowhere. We just stopped, yeah. but sometimes that's where the, that's the, the best sweetest way. place. The anyway, best food, that's where it is. So yeah. that, that's an over explanation <laughs> of our current affair. I should okay. have taken a video of yeah. this experience. Yeah. But you know, there's certain experiences you just take a photo and you eat. Yeah. You know, anyway. So Good. now I believe I might be taking you to um, up country. Okay. But let's see. Okay. Um, I love the screens. Yeah, I like the screens. Oh, there's a lot of them too. All right, so this is close to where my father came from. Okay. All right, so this is my up, this is what we call up country uh, back in Kenya. Uh, this is so, so this is beautiful. I love the trees. They call me Kimaz, yeah. and uh, I like this. Hey, oh, that's my mother right there. Hey, mama. <laughs> I think is all, my, my brother is in all my videos. Okay, so these are the country roads look like. So these are the country roads look like. Some um, and very green. Like as you've noticed, it was, it was a rainy season. Yeah. But very like green and. So this is what we call like it's not there yet but you know there's an area called like Lari, Mpawine, Matavia. So people who are familiar with those areas around central Kenya and region. But you can see everybody if you're in Kenya you gotta know how to drive through this stuff. Sure do. Ain't no way.
So that was the country. Oh, I forgot. I have now another bonus. This is a double, triple bonus. So we are actually in another part of the city. And I recorded this. We had just come from the apartments with Becky, the realtor. Yes. Uh, and the manager of the apartments. And so we wanted to show Kibera. So they built... Kibera is like the slums area in Kenya. Um, and, you know... It, they built a whole road through the other side. So I just thought, I was like, whoa, this is a very good road across uh, the place. Yeah. It's a new road, so I thought, like, let me just feature it also. Uh, but, you know, it is, uh, you know, improving, the area is improving. Things yes. like roads always improve places True. because it gives people access. Yes. And uh, these places are, you know, never had this much access. And you know, roads come with electricity, sometimes yes. water, better services, yes. uh, better safety and security. Uh, but this cuts all the way to Kare, gone, wow. all the way from the other side of the city. So now you don't have to go around. So this is this was very, very good. But you can still see a lot of the shanty, like uh, metal roofs uh, that are famous with a slum. Kibera is one of the largest slums in Eastern Central Africa. Um, so anyway. This was interesting, so I just decided, you know what, uh, let me throw it in, why not, you know, I, you know, I just thought, anything I'm seeing, see, there is go, a gong langata link. Oh, look at the road, man, that's cute. Yeah. I like the road. Yeah, you see how the roads are, so, I guess this is really a road trip across Nairobi city. Mm hmm Right, even yeah. the rural area is really central Kenya is really next to Nairobi. Yes. So that's a little bit of Nairobi yeah. for those who have never gone around and seen the city and yeah. known what it's about. It is a beautiful city. True. Beautiful roads have been built over time. Mm -hmm. You know, the country is going undergoing some challenges, right? Yeah. Especially for the young people in terms of jobs, opportunity. True. Uh, the country has really leveraged itself financially to a place that it's hard for it to borrow to grow as fast as it would like. True. That's why the taxes have gone up. It's been a big issue. Yeah. The prayer and the hope is that the government would listen to the people True. rather than just create policies that yeah. are uh, maybe adverse to the people based on where they are currently. Right. So it's a place to, you know, still cherish. You yeah. know, you, you still cherish the home it's country. Home. You still cherish. Yeah. And, you know, still welcome people to come and visit. Yeah. But those border people at the airport, stop harassing people. Stop Please. trying to tax everything on hey. everyone. People are trying to come home. <laughs> yeah. People are trying to spend money and it's time. True. Stop giving them a headache. Yeah. And Mr. President, if you ever watch this, you got to tell your people to stop, right? It's That's becoming true. a headache for the diaspora. Yeah. Because people do want to see Kenya succeed. People That's do want true. to invest in Kenya. Yeah. And so as you've seen, it's a beautiful country. Yeah. Beautiful people. And the roads also give access to people who, especially coming from diaspora, we, ex we are so used to the roads here. We go back to Kenya, love the fact that they've improved on the roads. That way it doesn't feel any different, you know. Um, and there's access to different, I mean, businesses can now officially go to Kenya and do business there because now there's actual good roads to do, you know, business and trading and mm -hmm. everything you can imagine. So, yeah, people yeah, don't understand love how the improvement. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't understand how important roads are. Yeah. Because roads really. If you don't have to spend two hours on traffic, oh, man. those are two hours you can be productive. Sure. Or even rest. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. that's it. I hope awesome. you enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, please subscribe, <laughs> like, share. and share. Yes, yeah, share. Comment, comment. Subscribe. Yes. Follow. Join us if you like this and many more. True. This was a drive through, a yeah. road trip. This is Nairobi, Kenya. <laughs>